season has reached the midpoint for some teams around the state of Texas, but for West Mesquite, it feels like it's just begun. Welcome to the pregame show. I'm Ted Madden. We'll have highlights of the Skeeters and Jags in just a moment, but first let's talk about West Mesquite's first win of the season. It was homecoming for the Wranglers taking on Wiley East at Hanby Stadium. After zero points in the first quarter, each team scored a touchdown in the span of 14 seconds. After Wiley East took a 7-0 lead, West responded on the ensuing kickoff. Jacoby Walton returned this 78 yards for a touchdown. He also had a 43-yard TD catch later in the game. Sophomore quarterback Kevin Jennings threw a 28-yard touchdown pass to Darion Mitchell a few minutes later, but the Raiders scored again to take a 14-13 lead into halftime. That was the last time Wiley East scored while Jennings kept throwing touchdown passes. He completed 19 of 26, for 231 yards and three touchdowns, this one to tie Jordan with no interceptions. Jordan had another big game, 15 touches split almost evenly between rushes and receptions, 171 total yards and two touchdowns. He also played on defense and helped West throw a second half shutout in their first win of the year, 37-14 over Wiley East. You, you start out the season and, and you play a really, really good schedule. Uh, we played uh, three of the top top seven teams in the state uh, of the four games and then we played a 6A uh, team really close and, and unfortunately came out with a loss there but you know we, we get a district win we go into the bye week with a different feeling you know we've been pushing talking about district games are the ones that matter uh, you get a chance to come out of a district game with a win and then go into a bye week and then start to make your run. With West on a bye Poteet is the district's only 5A team in action the Pirates go to Sherman to take on the Bobcats who lost their district opener to McKinney North. So after the first set of district games, the Wranglers, Bulldogs, and Lions share first place. The Pirates hope to join that group of winners after their game in Sherman. The 11-6A district opener couldn't be much bigger. Mesquite was taking on Horn at Memorial. The Skeeters controlled the first quarter, driving deep before turning the ball over on downs on their first drive, then scoring a touchdown on their second drive. Dylan McGill gave them a 7-0 lead. It was 7-7 at halftime, then the Jaguars exploded for 28 second-half points, a week after scoring 26 in the second half against Arlington. McGill got his second rushing touchdown of the game just before the quarter ended, and Mesquite was back within seven at 21-14. But the fourth quarter belonged to Horn and Ben Wyatt. His 50-yard run helped set up a Nicosi Emery touchdown for a 28-14 advantage. Wyatt finished with 218 rushing yards and three scores as Horn beat Mesquite 35-14. Up next for the Jags is a Rockwall team that just got thumped by Longview. Ben Wyatt has been on a tear. In his last five quarters of play, he's rushed for 303 yards and six touchdowns. Mesquite stays home to play Rockwall Heath, which lost its first district game to Tyler Lee by five. Tyler Lee is who North plays in its first district game. The Stallions are coming off their bye and will play at Tyler Rose Stadium. A quick check of the standings show the three winners in week one, Horn, Longview, and Tyler Lee, sharing the early lead in district play. That's it for the pregame show. Thank you for supporting Mesquite ISD Athletics, and enjoy your game.